What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about starting a real business that makes real money in 2023. It doesn't matter if you start the business online, it doesn't matter if you start the business offline, but I'm here to tell you there's some things that you're going to need to understand before you even start. Number one, who is your audience? I don't care if you're selling red t-shirts, purple giraffes, or blazing orange Porsche 911s. You need Need to have an understanding of who your audience is. I'm about to explain something to you and hopefully you will stick with me through the whole process. Be sure to watch this video from the beginning to the end and actually be sure to watch this video three to five times so you get everything. Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. When I used to be at Renacrate, we would have these deep dive business meetings where the owner of the company would be like pointing at you, telling you everything you did wrong. It was no rah-rah session, no like, hey, we are taking, no, no, it's like, this is what you did wrong and this is why your sales are off. And because I was new, I didn't get a lot of the rah-rah stuff, but I did learn a lot during that week. And everything that was taught during these sales meetings is something that I went ahead and liberated and set myself up for in the future. And one of the things that you have to understand is you can make a ton of money selling virtually anything if you understand your audience. Once again, who are you selling to? What do they need? What do they desire? Let me give you a case. Walmart. Walmart was a business creating, uh, created on selling people a lot of stuff at the lowest price possible. Why? Now, that was a very smart business business move because the average American, 80% of America makes less than $35,000 per year, 80%. There's a lot of people in that low income bucket that Sam Walton set up Walmart and designed the stores to serve and create. And honestly, if the Walmart fortune wasn't set up, I think there's five or six hairs, this would probably be the richest person in the world if one hair owned it all. Sam Walton used to fly over his stores, used to spend a lot of time in his stores so he could develop a feel, a methodology of who his customer was. Jeff Bezos did something very similar because once you understand the customer to the point that you can predict what the customer is going to do when the customer's in your store, you have won. And this is one of the reasons that so many businesses, Amazon FBA, Airbnb, Toro, a lot of these businesses, this is where many of these businesses fail. They do not address the process of getting to know the customer. Essentially, what you do is you sign up on Airbnb, you trick out your property, and you depend upon the Airbnb's algorithm to find you customers. And this right here is, I think, going to be one of the most damaging aspects of the Airbnb process going forward. One of the things that you have to understand Number one, the customer. And this is where we're, we're spending a lot of time talking about the customer. How do you figure out who your customer is? And like, give you an example. Years and years ago, when I first started on YouTube, I was using a Toshiba laptop and the Toshiba laptop gave me a lot of issues. The thing used to overheat. I actually had a video. I don't even know if it's still up here on YouTube talking about how to clean out the laptop so it would stop shutting down on you, right? And then, I noticed that the better YouTubers were using Macs. So I went to Craigslist and I bought my first Mac used. It was an iMac. It wasn't the 27 inch, it was the smaller one. And it worked really, really well. And since that day, which was like 2010, I believe, I've not used any other computer. It is now 2013. I've been using Mac computers, iMacs, MacBook Pros, um, iPhones. I have been a dedicated and loyal Mac customer and just 
kind of going through my mind. I have spent three, 2,500, 2,500, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000. I have spent close to a hundred grand with Mac in the last 14 years because I am a Mac customer. I want you to think about that. Every year Mac does this, they go out and get a brand new customer that they're going to sell products to for the next decade. See, once again, are Macs the best computer on the market? Absolutely not. What do you get when you buy a Mac? You buy into the Mac system. I can take a picture on my phone and then through airmail, send it to my computer to upload my thumbnails. The system works very well for me. At one point I was thinking about getting into trading, which I just literally sat down and thought like, why are you going to do that? It's going to take you years and years and years to learn how to trade. Just stick with what you know. And uh, I've got some new training coming out the first of March and I'll be talking about it and going over it. One of the things that we're going to find out is once you know your customer, and this is very, very important for you, for you to know your customer. Once you know your customer, really know what they're looking for, what they need, and you develop that as a product or service, making money becomes instantaneous. You know that once you put out your new product, once you put out your new thing, once you do your new whatever, you're to make money because number one, you know your customer. And this is one of the reasons that so many people are losing out on Amazon, Toro, um, Airbnb. They're losing out because they have no clue to who their customer is. They just know that they put a property, a car or something on a website and people buy it. That's all they know. And if they were to go further and to dig harder and to actually develop a better understanding of who their customer really was, they would make way more money. I'm talking 100x more money. But because people are looking for the simplest, the easiest, the fastest way to make some money. And once again, there are some people on Airbnb. There are some people on Turo. There are some people on Amazon F Airbnb, Amazon Fulfillment by Amazon They're, who are doing really, really well. But I guarantee you, these are not the average people who were just walking their dog and saw a commercial on their YouTube app. These are people who thought long and hard about what they wanted to get into. They set it up. I'll give you an example. There is a pharmacy. It was a pharmacist, and I don't know if his partners are pharmacists, but it's three of them that took their business to Airbnb, not to, to Amazon FBA. And they had an active pharmacy up and running before they did the Airbnb, which tells me they knew how to price stuff, they knew how to regulate stuff, and they had relationships with vendors. This was, wasn't your normal Airbnb person. This was someone who had went to college, became a pharmacist, had some partners, and they put a lot of money into this business and they were literally making millions. See, Here's the thing, even though they were using Amazon FBA, guess what they had at their disposal? They had a pharmacy where they can look and observe what customers were buying. And based on that intel, they took that intel to Amazon and it took off. When I was selling stuff out of my storage unit um, situation, I had a feeling, and this is one of the things I don't think that I've talked about, you can't find these videos anymore. I knew what was gonna sell before it sold because I knew my customers selling furniture. What's the first thing that's going to sell in furniture? Bedroom sets. What's the second thing that's going to sell in the furniture? Sofa sets. What's the third thing that's going to sell with furniture? Dining room sets. What's something else that's going to be incidental? Washer and dryers. Because I sold so many of these things and I talked to people. I was like, why are you buying this today? What happened to your washer and dryer? Seems like a very simple conversation, right? You can get virtual gold talking to your customers, asking them simple questions. One of the things that I'm getting ready to do is do a lot of online training, do a lot of online marketing that's not going to be privy of social media. And why do I say that? Now, social media can make you a millionaire. You hit social media the correct way, you get the right stuff that's going on. But here's the problem with social media. Let's say like, 
I was sick last three weeks and I really didn't do that much on YouTube and YouTube is was well is my main sales channel so not a lot had happened but see at the moment I'm not really selling anything so I really didn't lose money because I wasn't pushing things right but now if I had set up an advertising campaign and once again that's totally 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 different you just can't um, start with an advertising campaign from nothing you've got to start with the test sets then you've got to scale up in the way that they have these marketing campaigns whereas Facebook or Google Ads there's a methodology that you must follow to get the views to get your product seen by the right people. You don't want the wrong people to see your product. You want the right people to see your product. And you want the people that your product will serve well to see your product. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. This is what you want to set up. But so many people are looking for that simple, fast, easy, laptop lifestyle my business is over here i'm on the beach with my laptop and i'm just taking it all in that's not a way to build a business it's not a way to build a business that's going to take care of you when you're 80 or 90 years old that's not because these laptop lifestyle businesses are fast flimsy and fluent so number one you want to learn as much about your customer as possible you want to have as much information as possible from your customer and you want to know as much as you can about your customer because here's the thing amazon now i don't know because i haven't bought anything from amazon in a minute but amazon made it stupid easy simple to return stuff just go in the app go ahead i want to return it it's going to give you a barcode you print up the barcode you don't even have to pack this stuff up and you just take it to a ups store stupid easy simple and that's why amazon has such a large part of the population as part of their business model now i want you to think how easy or how hard is it for people to do business with you now at the moment i'm gonna go ahead and spill some beans at at the moment it's pretty hard to do business with me which means i'm not doing a lot of business because it's hard to do business i haven't set it up i haven't put the offers in i haven't done everything so it's real hard to do business with me which means i'm not doing business now that's going to change march the first where it's going to be real easy to do business with me it's going to be a uh, very interesting to do business with me but at the moment i'm not working on that because one of the things that i need to do is get in touch with the real part of YouTube. Now, there's two parts of YouTube. There is the, we can make all this money with chat GTT. We can make, there's that YouTube. And then there's the real part of YouTube, the people who want to study math, the people who want to study finance, the traders. There are people who are in the real world of YouTube. And that's where I need to be to reach the kind of customers I want to reach. I want to educate and help some person who who wants to be financially free in three years and wants to be wealthy in 10 years. Now, being financially free, once again, a business. Go to the Forbes list, look at the list, and you will see business owner after business owner after business owner. You will not see investors, and everyone will bring up Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is 92, 93 years old. Warren Buffett's not going to be around in a few years. Warren Buffett doesn't invest. He buys complete and whole businesses. Totally different. But once again, if you want to get rich, if you want to make a lot of money, if you want to reset yourself up, start a business. That's where the money is. If you want to be financially free, if you want to be really, really set up, because once again, I have reset this channel to reach the real people who want to start successful businesses, who want to get into the reality of being who they are and being what they are. And one of the things that will happen through this new training is we're going to tap into you because I got a question. Why would you want to start a business that doesn't make you happy? It makes no sense. You get a job that you don't like what you're doing. You're looking for another job. You start a business and it says business makes a lot of money. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Some people will just stick with the business. Some people will give it up. It just depends upon who you are as a person. But one of the things that you need to do, one of the things you need to understand and one of the things you need to realize, it is all a matter of choice. 
you can have that multi-million dollar business or you could be stuck in the rut now at the moment we're not in the recession last quarter of 2022 we showed growth a surplus in january there was a ton of jobs so we will not know if we're in the recession until the end of this quarter and based upon the information that i'm getting i don't think we're going to slide into a recession this year just based upon the inner the interesting tidbits the things that i'm getting i don't think we're going to slide into a recession this year but that doesn't leave 2024 out of the mix it doesn't because one of the things that you have to do one of the things you have to understand is the economy is not silent the economy is not res reserved so let me just explain to you what's happening in march i'm going to start new training we're going to get into the mindset we're going to get into youtube stuff we're going to get into online businesses and that's pretty much it because I don't have a service business. I don't have an offline business and I'm not going to teach you how to do something that I don't do. Now, I used to have an offline business that was very, very heavily populated by online sales, but it was a physical business out of a warehouse. I don't have that. So we're going to be getting into some new training, some new things, some new, it's going to be completely new. And all of my old customers, you will not have access to the new training without paying a massive discount. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to sell it to you. So be on the lookout for all of this new stuff to be heading your way and it's coming really, really soon. So this should get this in February because once again, everything, and I do mean everything, changes March 1st. So be on the lookout for that.